Uh, we've got uh, Alexia Quadrani, J.P. Morgan media analyst, Michael Nathanson, senior analyst at Moffitt Nathanson. So for, year, for five years, really, we were like 100 to 110, 115, and we waited, waited, waited. We did the uh, Disney Plus, and it broke out. Looked like off to the races, up to 160. Well, not quite, but, right. but close. Okay, we're back down at the high end of, of that yeah. range, but we've got coronavirus uh, on the horizon. With this news, do you buy Disney since it's 128 now, Michael, and it's cheaper here? Is that, is that where you want to buy it, or, or do you worry about what's going to happen to theme parks in the near term? And then we'll get to Iger and all right. the other stuff. But, but is this a place you enter, Disney? Yeah, you're waiting for that negative revision to come around theme parks, right? You, they already have, have said, you know, the Chinese parks are going to be hurt by coronavirus in Hong Kong. They've not talked yet about Japan, which is they have a park in Japan. And the U.S. is going to be hurt by this, this as well. Okay. But I would say to you the stock has given up so much market cap in the past two, three weeks yeah. that this is an entry point for like a multi-year. You do think so. I think it's a multi-year. You know, this is not an entry point for one month and we trade out of Disney, right? <clears throat> this, this is, you're going to have negative revisions. That seems very obvious due to the park risks, right? But coronavirus will come and it will go, you know. And in a year from now, that will be an opportunity to actually lap the coronavirus problem a year from now. What do you think? That's I what say, I think. I would say for right now, people are still sort of seeing it as one time -ish. You know, they guided to a $280 million hit for the fiscal second quarter, um, you know, in terms of just Shanghai and Hong Kong. And we actually took our numbers down also for the June quarter, almost the same amount, um, because we don't see it being solved by March 31st. Um, right now, investors are seeing it as one time -ish. I, I sort of think if it does keep going and it spreads to the U.S., we start taking numbers down for Disney World and Disneyland, maybe that benefit goes away and people get a bit more panicked. But I agree with Michael. I mean, at some point, we will pass this. I don't know when. And, um, and So it's tough to say. All right, let's get to the, the, the news of the day, and that is uh, the, the Iger exit. So when did we first start talking about Iger leaving? Uh, a lot. Three years ago? How long? I mean, uh, even he's more. He resigned how many times? Well, he resigned, and then there was all the speculation about whether he was so, going for president, and, right. and, the, and then the deal with Rupert Murdoch said Rupert he had Murdoch, to stay said, as part of that yeah. transaction. So, an immediate, leaving immediately as of yesterday, is it still an orderly transition that the company, if, will we study it 10, 15 years from now, how to do a succession, and this was well done, or, or was it weird for the immediate <laughs> thing yesterday? The timing was weird. It was right, the weird. The timing was not what we expected and not typical Disney. We would have thought you had a quarter two weeks ago. That was a great quarter. You could have done it on the quarter. You could have waited for the next quarter. The timing was weird. And your questions to Julia, you know, why now, what happens to Kevin, are questions that everyone wants answered because it doesn't seem the, the answers are, are quite solid right now. Why now, right? Like it could have been two weeks ago, right? So. Why now is, is the question that people come to us and we don't have an answer for why now. I, I think Does that bother you? Yeah, it, bother, it, it, yeah, it bothers me. It, 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 we knew it was inevitable, right? Does it bother me? I mean, it's not like he's going anywhere. Exactly. It's, it's, you know, it's, that, that's what I don't, I don't understand, it, like, why it, all the hubbub. It, it bothers if you in the sense that... If were taking off today, that'd be one thing. You know, as analysts, we like to have <laughs> answers to questions, right? So it bothers you as an analyst. Does it bother you in terms of, like... Of the stock? Yeah, exactly. No, yeah. because okay. he's sticking around. But to Joe's question, you always want to be able to answer questions. You know? Uh, well, I just think we wanted to plan it better. Like, why now the announcement doesn't surprise me as much as why it happens in me day one. Like, why not announce it now and say, okay, by June 1st, whatever this transition You guys are happen. a lot of control freaks. But we, <laughs> that's what I want to know the That's our yeah. job. We like to plan We want to know why. Or, yeah. My yeah. speculation, and it was pure speculation, people were talking about this last night, is maybe Chapek had a job offer, I mean, meaning... He's that back. valuable yeah. that they had to have him? I, no, maybe there was some other exogenous. What we don't know is, was there some exogenous event? But you could have done that, it internally and given him a contract. Is this a trial period? Is he gonna, is he gonna be, are we going to talk about Bob Chapik like we talk about Iger or well, Eisner? That's what I said. This right. is like a Keith Block situation. Yeah. He, stay, he gets the job, right. but with Iger <laughs> hanging around the hoop, if it, it could work, if it doesn't, do you keep Kevin and swap him out later? If it's, I mean, maybe this is some kind of... What uh, hoop? Is that a basketball? No. Basketball hoop. Oh, so that's what you're that. talking about. I like. No, I like that. I like that. So he was around the there. He can tip he's it in. Around the hoop. Yeah, he's, he's ready. In the right, paint. right. But he could get a three second. He could uh, get the three five, second five, roll, and then he's out. Yeah, and he's out. He could pull a hammy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, I mean, he'll be here in, in ten years. It's going to be. Oh my God, Bob Chapik might leave. Is that what it's going to eventually be like? We hope so. I didn't think. I, I didn't think Eisner right. could ever. I go all the way back to Roy. Right. They didn't know what to do back then. You like Chapik over Kevin, by the way. 
Absolutely. You do? Yeah, it's a experience. Huh? It's more Disney culture, more operation. I know, but it seems like it's Star Wars now. It's creative well, now. Star Wars are in the parks, too. So, I know, I know. They are. In terms of contributing not like a profitability. A, not like, you know, okay. Parks, the parks matter. Profit. Okay. Alexia and Michael. Uh,